Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Christmas is around the corner and I thought we'd bring another quick Christmas gift idea. This is a fun and quick one that you can make even if you don't have a lot of supplies around. If you just have some firewood, you can make one of these relatively easily and they don't take that much time. All you need is a ball, uh, particularly a marble or something of that shape, about an inch in size. And I'll leave a link to the ones that I purchased for these down below if you want to get that as well. And a block of wood. So uh, yeah, let's dive in and figure out how do you get that ball into the block? So for these blocks, we're actually making them out of some red maple. Uh, it's often called soft maple, but anything that's not hard maple is soft maple. So you can also do it with uh, box elder or poplar or anything like that where it's a relatively soft hardwood. Uh, they work fairly well. So we're going to shape out what we want, cut it, and then drill some holes. So let's, uh, let's do it. Now we have a block that's approximately two and a half by two and a half by two and a half inches. I find that to be about the right shape for the one inch glass balls I'll be putting in. And I'll have a link to those down below if you want to make the exact same thing. So now we need to drill a hole through this. And a lot of people really get worried on this step is they want to drill the hole perfectly straight. And it really doesn't matter that much. As long as it's relatively straight, it's okay. If you have a drill press, then you can use that. Uh, but I just eyeball it and go to town. So let's actually take a look at drilling that out. Now the hole that I want for this is going to be slightly smaller. I'm going to be using a 7 8 inch bit for my 1 inch ball. Um, about an eighth inch is about right for the most time. It keeps the ball out, but still makes it easy enough to get it in, which we'll be covering later on. So the next thing I want to do is actually create a center point on here. I have a marking gauge that's close to center. And so I cut one side, and I'm going to cut the other side. And you can see how those two are a little ways apart, about an eighth inch or so. But that's fine, because then I can cut this side and cut this side. And now I have a little square that the tip of that can fit into. And so we're just going to keep going around that ball, mark all four sides. Now we need to push this marble into the end grain hole on this block, but it ain't going to fit. So we're going to moisten this down and push it in there, but in order to push it all the way in, we need to have a piston dowel, but we want that dowel to hold the bulb, otherwise the ball will just roll off the end. So I'm going to take a gouge and make a little bit of a divot right in the middle, and then that will hold the ball in place so that the ball won't roll away, and we can then push it in. So when I put the block in, I want the block to be completely submerged. I want the water to go all the way through it, because if I just get one side or the other, it kind of goes askew. I just want to make sure that the water is down far enough 
so that it's covered all the way, just like that. Now we have left this to dry overnight and it's ready to actually start shaping it. We want to smooth out all the sides and put a heavy chamfer on each of the corners so it looks a little bit better. And then it's basically ready for finish because we now have a ball and a block. <laughs> so let's clean it up. So now that everything is smooth on the outside, I'm just going to come in here with a carving knife and clean up the inside, get rid of any of the wispy things that popped out when it was being boiled, clean it up, make it look pretty, give it the finishing touches, and we'll basically be ready for finish then. So yeah, let's go dunk this thing in some boiled linseed oil. There you have it, a simple project that really only takes a half an hour or so, and then you just let it dry overnight and it's ready to go. This is a, a fun one and my kids love it. They, they're, they're trying to figure out how do you get that ball in there or how do you get the ball out. It's a, a fun, quick project that you can make people happy around Christmas time. So I hope you like this and if you do have any questions or ideas, thoughts, let me know down below. I'd love to hear those. So I think that's about it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Oh shoot. I lost my marbles, and now they're stuck. I can't get them out.